come groom with me, very much like come dine with me, just more mud. Well, I have had 48 hours away from my beloved Ginger. Um, she has had three weeks off work, but I finished for Christmas today. I finished for three days for Christmas. Gosh, I look like a hobbit elf. I'm um, rather hoping Santa has got me in one of those nice Equilite headbands for Christmas instead of this trendy look. Anyway, um, so Cassie's had some time off because of the weather and because of my work at this time of year. But I am going to attempt to ride her tomorrow. Well, I'll start with lunging and see how we go. I'm not going to make any promises because who wants to spend Christmas Eve in A&E? Um, but right now, I'm just going to give her a bit of a love and see what she looks like under a rug. Um, it's been absolutely pouring it down here today, so they're all sopping wet. And I don't know what everyone else does, but we tend to leave their New Zealands on when they're wet, so they dry with the horse's body heat. Uh, so effectively, we use our horses as a uh, rug dryer. Um, because then otherwise, you're putting cold, damp ones on. And honestly, in my experience, it just takes days and days for them to actually dry. So this works for us, um, but I'm going to take it off tonight and put a jammies on. Um, she's been on some new feeds, so I want to see whether that's made a bit of a change to her body or not. We will have a look. The good news is when it's that rainy, she's pretty clean, although actually I suspect she's had her legs hose this evening because I've just walked the dog around the horse. Oh no, no, we're still not allowed to touch that tummy. She doesn't have ulcers, she's all scraped, she's just a man. He doesn't love a tummy rub. We know a person who doesn't love a tummy rub, so you know, not for everyone. sensitive sensitive horse she actually rather likes her face being brushed so strangely I actually use a rougher brush to do her face because she seems to sort of enjoy the scratch but if I even dare to use this brush on the rest of her body she'd have a right pissy, pissy fit wouldn't you but like actively enjoys a good face scrub. Not ideal when you're trying to get around your eyes, but okay. Mm -hmm. Even bit my ears and then these two too. She's a real facial touching girl. Oh, 
Oh my God, that's so satisfying. I don't know if it's much cleaner. I think I basically use all the brushes you're not supposed to use on the face. So a bit of metal curry comb there, she quite likes that. And a nice stiff big dandy brush, but um, the rest of her body, I basically have to treat her like a complete princess. She has baby skin, but face, she likes it rough. Strange, isn't it, the little things you learn about them. She's definitely quite a unique mare. If she was a human, I think she'd be, she would be, I think the mean girls the class. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh, she doesn't like touching her nose, so because her nose band is dropping down, that's annoying her now. She's easily irritated. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Talking about... I think if Cassie was another animal, she would be a cat. Um, because I love her, she does not love me, do you darling? I provide her with a service, sometimes my service is acceptable, sometimes she doesn't feel it's up to scratch, and when she complains, she makes it known that she's not happy with said service, don't you? Um, by means of throwing her legs around and throwing her head around. I need a tiny brush now. Because your eyes are grubby. <laughs> How do you get mud in your eyes? How do you get mud in your eyes? Wait. She just loves this. She loves a good rough face brush. Because they're nice. Lips got all floppy and it, you can quite see that on screen there. Oh yeah, this is good. And now she's spotted a cat. Um, the most comparable creature of a cat. Aloof. Uses their human as a butler or a maid. How oh, she gets the mud. She's like a hippo. And I'm deeply grateful for the fact she's a warm blood and she doesn't have a disgusting, thick coat. Sorry, disgusting is a harsh word. I've had plenty of horses up. In fact, she's my only horse. I'm just very grateful. Right, that's the pyjamas on. but the buckle always slides out. Put me to bed, Mum. You happy in your pony cage? Yes. Now she is reasonably clean and ready to go, aren't you? Boop. Oh, what's that? Oh. Very inquisitive girl today.